welcome back to Mini Cooks. And so today we are going to be making a fried egg with English muffins. So I'll show you all the ingredients, and lots of these are optional. So, um, first, I'm obviously going to need a pan, and you're going to need. I use pepper and salt. Those are also optional. No, nope, you don't have to put them. And um, this butter, this is also optional as well. You can use butter or cooking spray. Either one will work. So um, you can use that. Obviously, you have to have your egg. And um, it can be two eggs, one egg. I normally do one egg. And then I have my spatula. It can be uh, a, like the a, a more of a straight spatula, which we were using in our uh, our cooking video to scrape the sides of our bowl. And that can be more of a straight spatula. I find this one easier. So if you have this one on you and you're just starting to make fried eggs, um, or if you experience, then you can use the other one. But some people like this one better, so yeah. Okay, now orange juice goes really well with this. So I'm gonna uh, have some orange juice. Obviously, I will need a glass for my orange juice. So, um, and you know, we have a lot of ingredients today. Uh, so we have the, an English muffin. I love English muffins, and you can toast it if you want. I haven't toasted my egg yet. Um, so, then another optional ingredient: tomato ketchup. I like um, I like it on my eggs, but I prefer it on scrambled eggs. And um, I also we also have cheese, um, so I like to put cheese on my eggs, whether it's fried, scrambled, or anything else. And then another optional thing, which will be our last ingredient for today, is some hot sauce. And this is totally optional; it just adds um, some spice to the eggs because I know eggs aren't normally that spicy, so. Alright, so now let's get cooking. Hello everybody, so now we're going to move on to the cooking part. And so make sure, um, before you even turn on the stove, you're going to stop and ask an adult. And so um, the reason why you do this is so you don't get burned. And plus, I know you, um, not everybody knows uh, all the features and what each part of the stove does and, and where you can get burnt. So... I'm going to go ahead and power on my stove, but before you guys do that, if you're a kid or even an older, please ask for adult supervision before you do this. And if you don't know how to turn it on, ask them to turn it on, and then they're going to give you, and then um, they'll give you kind of a little tutorial of their, of your guys' stove, because everybody's stove looks different. So this is how my stove looks like. Oh, it's just the igniter. Okay, so now I'm going to put mine on kind of medium heat. Mine's going to heat up way faster than yours. If you, I mean, if you have a gas stove, it's going to heat up way faster than electric. So I'm just going to go ahead and put mine on low. You can see the flame uh, right there. And coming up, so heating up my pan. And now is a good time to go ahead and put in your butter or cooking spray. Mine is almost melted, so I'm going to put that thing in there. Okay. That should be enough. So now I'm just going to go like this with the pan. Make sure, if you have a handle that is hot, make sure to be wearing gloves because there's also another safety thing that you need to have. So, I'm um, sorry you can't see this for a couple minutes because I'm just getting the butter all over the pan. The cooking spray is so much easier. This butter is like really bad. It's stuck to my hands. Okay, maybe this will help a little. Um, okay. I'm not gonna butter the completely whole pan because I know it's gonna take a while, especially because my butter has been really soft and melted. Okay, that's finished. And now you're gonna wait till like the butter. If you have butter, it's gonna like kind of like I don't know, turn brown almost. So, but if you can, you might wanna transfer the butter. Oh, I got the whole thing. So if you have a non-stick pan, this this amount of butter is okay. This is not a non-stick pan that I'm using, but I know it won't stick with that much butter on it. So okay. I should put my little hotter so it can get a hotter fast. Okay, I think it is pretty hot right now, so I am going to pour my egg in. As an adult, 
to help you pour the egg in or and maybe crack the egg as you saw in our ingredients list so um just so they can help you and they know to wash their hands right after anyway so now i'm going to go ahead and pour the egg in and make sure you guys don't lose control of the bowl okay i just pour my egg in and then okay. i'm gonna take this to my sink because i don't want all the Poor shaky stuff from the egg to drip out. Okay, so you can hear that sizzling noise and you turn the heat down a little. Okay, so first you're going to break apart the yolk. Like this. So it's going to kind of spread out, and that's a good thing. Because you want the, because, because especially if you're making something, you would like the egg to be cooked, I'm pretty sure. So. But it isn't if you're making a runny egg. Yeah, runny egg is the yolk is not cooked. So. We're going to give that a few minutes, and then I'm going to flip it over, maybe even a few seconds now. Because my stove is really hot. You can even break apart the clear. Just be it all cooked. Okay, and then here, I'm going to add my salt and pepper. So, just a little sprinkle of salt, and then I'm going to need the pepper. So, just... Ooh! Okay. So, that's something you have to be careful with. It means that it's really hot, so... It's on low speed now, so I'll just put it on the summer now. Okay, let's just flip it, just because. So you're gonna take the egg and flip it like that over, so it should look like this. Um, depending on how you like your egg, you can do it brown, you can do it anything you want. And uh, make sure, when the pan is cool, you're gonna do the cooking spray. That's only if you use the cooking spray. Uh, if you're gonna use the cooking spray, you're supposed to do that in the beginning when the pan was cool, and kind of rub it with a paper towel. That's just another tip. So now this is starting to get a little brown on the edge, so it depends how you like your eggs, it all depends. Like, I don't like mine, I like mine pretty soft, so, so it almost, it's pretty soft, I would say. Um, but I need to make sure it's cooked all the way, because that's also something that I need to work on. I mean, not work on, but you know, you need to kind of know, like, is your egg cooked all the way? So I just found mine in the middle. It's pretty cooked all the way, so I'm just going to flip it um, one more time, so oh, make sure you're holding the pan. Okay, this will be my last one on this side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it onto my plate because the egg is finished. You can scoop it out or you can scoop it out and put it onto the plate or you can go like this and put it onto your plate. So, I'm going to go like that because I've been doing this for a while and put it on my plate. Now, I'm going to shut my stove all the way off. Make sure it's all the way off. And if you have uh, electric or even gas, you might want to uh, enable the lock feature or the whatever power off feature. I think it's the lock feature. I forget which one it is. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put my spatula away. Not completely away. But anyway, now, I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is my, this is my egg. This is how it turned out with my English muffin. And I may put a splash of hot sauce as well, because I do like it. So, and I'll put um, maybe a little, I don't like ketchup on mine, but you can, so I'll just put a little splash. I don't like too much spice on my egg. So that is how my egg turned out. It turned out pretty good. You know, if you're having trouble flip it, of course, ask for an adult. And um, an adult can tell you because they can look at it and say if it's cooked. I just break a little hole in mine just to see if the yolk is all, all the way cooked. And then I also love to sprinkle some cheese on top of mine. And add a little extra. Um, so I'm going to add the cheese. And so it just adds a little extra flavor so let me just show you let me move the camera over here okay so now let me show you this okay perfect i'm just going to sprinkle some cheese and it's going to it's going to melt eventually the egg is really hot so make sure you you don't have to let it cool for a certain amount of time but that's how mine turned out make sure to post a video uh not a video a picture of how yours turned out and um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you can put butter on here. I'm going to put it on later. You can put butter on here, toast it, do whatever you want with this. Um, however you like it. And, um, this, mmm, well, the cheese is good. But, now I'll taste the egg, and you guys, if you make this, please post a picture down in the comments, and I'll take a look. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video once again. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Leave a like if you enjoyed this food tutorial. And don't forget to share this video with a friend. Thank you once again. Have a great day.